It's time for learning with fun facts about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. for kids. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was an American Baptist minister, activist, humanitarian, and also known for being the leader of the African American Civil Rights Movement. Dr. Martin Luther King was born in Atlanta, Georgia on January 15, 1929. Now the world knows him today as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., but his name wasn't always Martin. He was actually born and given the name Michael by his father. But that all changed during a trip to Germany where the theologian Martin Luther impressed Dr. Martin Luther King's father so much that he changed his name and his son's name too. Now when it came to education, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was very smart. That's right, when he was a kid, he literally skipped two grades, the 9th and the 11th, to enter Morehouse College at the young age of 15 in 1944. Later on, Dr. King entered Boston University. There, he completed his schoolwork in 1953, earning a doctorate in systematic theology two years later. Also while he was there, he met his love, Coretta Scott. That's right, Coretta Scott was a young singer from Alabama who was studying at the New England Conservatory of Music. They later got married in 1953. Not long thereafter, he got involved in the civil rights movement, taking part in the Montgomery bus boycott after Rosa Parks had been arrested for not going to the back of the bus after the bus driver told her she couldn't sit at the front. Of course, many know Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. from taking part in the March on Washington on August 28, 1963, where his world-famous I Have a Dream speech set a fire to the civil rights movement that can still be echoed today of people wanting freedom and wanting to be treated equally. From there, his name only grew, and in 1964, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Sadly, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s life was cut short, being assassinated on April 4, 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee, while standing on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel. Although the nation was sad, the voice of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would still ring loud today. The hard work that he did during the Civil Rights Movement would soon be listened to, and that's when the Civil Rights Act was passed by Congress. And although many celebrated his birthday around the country in multiple cities, at the White House Rose Garden on November 2nd, 1983, President Ronald Reagan signed a bill creating a federal holiday to honor Dr. King's works. And those were fun facts about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. How are you doing? It's Mr. Merrillis, your principal. Um, I just want to remind everyone the March characteristics, uh, being motivated, academic, uh, respectful, caring, and honest. And what I'm going to do each week is I'm going to pick one of the March characteristics to focus on and give you guys examples. I see many of you um, adhering to these examples, and I see it in your daily lives here at March, and many of you doing a great job, but um, we can always use a reminder. So for this week and next week, because they're short weeks, I want to focus on the M for March, which is motivated. So um, one example of being motivated means that you get up early and you arrive to school on time. Okay, that's our March Mavericks being motivated. Thanks Mavericks, have a great day. March Mavericks, uh, attention sixth graders, don't forget to turn in your Science Center permission slips by this Friday. You don't wanna miss out, thank you. Good morning Mavericks, how you doing Mr. Merrillis? Um, reminder. Great. So we just started the first semester a couple of weeks ago, and guess what? Grades are already due for the first progress report. It is coming up on February 21st. That's gonna be the cutoff. So make sure that you have all assignments that are missing, turned in, that you signed up for those classes where you're missing any tests or quizzes, and that you signed up for flex so that you can make them up. Okay, don't forget Mavericks, be on top of your game. Make sure that you get that stuff done. All right, have a great day. You guys today after school at the Valentine's dance, remember you need a signed permission slip and a dollar. Um, if you have not yet purchased your tickets, you can do so at both lunches today or immediately after school. Thank you and see you at the dance. Good morning, March Mavericks. Um, 
talent show tryouts will be in two weeks. So if you would like to participate in the talent show this year, make sure you start thinking about what you wanna do and more information will come once it gets closer. But tryouts will be at the end of the month. Thank you. This is Mr. Merrill, your principal. You know, I, I want to have a conversation with you. Um, I know I talked to some of you individually, but it's really important in life to be able to find out truth. What I mean by that is people will tell you different things and you'll read different things online, but a lot of it is just, well, it's not true. It's baloney, okay? It's very important for you to investigate and find out truth. And the truth that I want to talk to you today about is vaping. You know, when it first came out, I remember people vaping and telling me, oh, it's so much better than cigarettes and how, um, you know, you vape and the smoke that you breathe out, it's only water vapor scented to smell like, you know, whatever, vanilla or bubble gum. Well, to tell you the truth, that's a complete lie. If any of you have been paying attention to um, some of the news and doing some research, then you'll find out that vaping is actually worse than cigarettes. You're smoking different chemicals that extremely damage your lungs, that immediately can coat your lungs with uh, different residue that can cause extreme damage. He just recently got a double lung transplant, had to have both of his lungs replaced because of vaping. So you guys, stay away from vaping. If you have any questions, talk to me, talk to your teachers, but it's something that you definitely don't want to be a part of. All right, thanks and have a great day.